the other free consumer video alternatives. So being in the traditional video conferencing space, and I have, I think we've been told we just have two minutes to go. So quick answers. Opportunity or threat? Skype, Yahoo, etc., and free consumer devices on the desktop. Well, I, you know, I, I, go ahead. Question for all you guys. Sure, yeah. Go for no, it. I think it's a, look, all these, all these, uh, all these applications educate the users to what is available. Okay. And Fair I point. think they, they, they are leaders also in the in the simplicity, if you wish, uh, exercise, right? So I think they they saw the way of how you know bigger systems should operate. And in fact, you know, uh, I sort of disagree that the consumer and the enterprise spaces have different qualities. I think they have had because of the technology limitations. But with new technology, uh, you know, like what video is being uh, uh, developing and, and making available, that differentiation has been significantly uh, been reduced. And I think that's essential. You don't have a worse word processor at home than you have in your office, right? So that the, 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 the convergence, if you wish, between the two systems, corporate and, and consumer, is a sign of maturity. If the, if, the, if the difference is big, you don't have a good technical solution. If it, or it's not mature enough. If the difference is small, okay, then uh, that means you have a good, a good solution. So I think these free apps, if you wish, educate the market to show the way, but you absolutely need, you know, bigger installations, you know, mother's installations to go uh, corporate. Okay, and I'll stop here because we are running out of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I very much agree with the fact that uh, uh, these free applications, they will, they, will pro they will educate the market. You know, I've, I've been speaking with a friend of mine who's a founder of a company that provides some free services and uh, of communication, and, and he, I asked him about the quality, and he said, you know, basically at the end of the day, I will always, since it's a free uh, service with a different business model, I will always be providing a lower quality of, of uh, uh, experience than the competing paid services. That's, that's life. <laughs> Right. No, absolutely. I think we need to start. We need to realize this is not a zero-sum game. It's not, uh, you know, a fact that you, cons free consumer endpoints are going to take share away from existing video conferencing companies. The whole point is, as I said, a cultural attitude change where every call is a video call. That's what we are striving for, rather than oh, no, this is video. Go ahead. Shantano, uh, it is. It is really not uh, when you when you compare the two markets. It's not just the technology. Obviously, they are completely different mindset, and and people, uh, and and organizations make decisions, purchasing decisions based on a completely different uh, criteria. Uh, for example, in the enterprise environment, I mean, I hope. You, oh, sorry, somebody. Go ahead. Leaving. No, no. Um, Go ahead. Uh, it's very important that you have uh, the the maintenance and support contract in in place. Because and that's the first the first thing that CIO will ask when before they deploy any kind of Good technology point. in the enterprise is really what is your support structure, who is your tier one, tier two, tier three support, how fast can we get a response, how fast can we resp uh, uh, resolve an issue. And that is very important. That's something that, it, that you cannot really get in the consumer market. You get the service, but if it doesn't work, there's nothing to do. You know, you cannot, you know, you, you cannot call Google or, or Yahoo and complain and say, I need it right, right now. Can you give it in five, can you bring it back online in five minutes? Second thing is predictability. You know, uh, enterprises need predictable uh, solutions that they can they can predictability. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, something happened here. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's predictability. <laughs> so, so I think that's uh, that's a sign. Uh, okay. Did, you reach, did you something happen on the bridge? Not on the bridge, you you just got got disconnected for a minute. Oh. Okay. Is that because we run out of time or what? I think so. Oh, okay. That's that, 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 that's okay. I mean, if we, if we run out of time, that's fine. But nobody t told us that we have to stop. So yeah. <laughs>
No, we're still on actually. We just oh, lost okay, the moderator. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay, so we, can, we can keep on speaking. <laughs> so really, the, the, the last component is really the ability to extend the solution. And in the enterprise environment, you can uh, publish your APIs, you can publish your uh, interface specification, and you can extend it to, uh, you know, to, to fit the requirement of the specific enterprise. So enterprise is like customization. And that is not possible in this cloud-based um, consumer-grade solutions, you cannot go to Yahoo and say, well, can you change your voice over IP or video over IP offering and add this particular feature that I need? Or can you open your API so that I can develop something in addition to what you already have? So this is, this is really, from a, from a business perspective, there's still uh, um, a big divide between the enterprise and the consumer market, and it's not just quality. Yeah. Okay. I think we're actually out of time um, in that we lost the moderator. <laughs> uh, the, since the meeting was locked, he cannot uh, log in. We need the, the moderator reopen the meeting. So, um, so just, he, he ha I think we, we want to discuss one last question about the, st the importance of standards. Do, do we want to do that? or I'll be very gonna... happy to, to do that, even though I touched that before. Uh, in, in my uh, previous uh, statement regarding what I think needs to, to be done for democratizing uh, video conferencing, I think that one of the key elements is uh, sticking with standards. I mean, we're speaking on the IMTC conference, right? IMTC uh, is all about standards. There's an interop very soon uh, held in Italy, and it's all about standards. And if we will not have the endpoints able to communicate, and this means on all levels, the protocol, the video, the voice, they need to be interoperable in order to, to really uh, win. And I completely agree. Cycle. I mean, this, this, this industry has been built on the tradition of standards, and there's no, I don't, I don't think there's any indication that this is going to stop anytime soon. I, I think we even see uh, proprietary solutions today um, looking for a way to become standard. Usually we see proprietary solutions uh, coming from very big organizations. But uh, we see them starting to, to move to standards. So I think that uh, we're getting a very strong hint here that we need to conclude the meeting, the, the panel. So we should oh. thank the moderator. Uh, yes. <laughs> thank ourselves on his behalf. Uh, we appreciate, I guess, the invitation to be part of this, uh, this panel. And I guess we can all say uh, goodbye and, uh, and uh, uh, pass the baton to the next uh, the next panel. Thank you guys very much. It was fun. Thank you very much, everyone.